The Raiders have finally fired Ken Norton Jr. I just want to start off by saying I wish him and his family nothing but the best. Too many times, fans get obsessed with the product on the field and forget about the human being. I never wish harm upon anybody, and I won't start now. With that being said, I have to say, finally. Now, maybe the defense can start doing something. First, I'm going to go over the facts. In the two and a half years Ken Norton Jr. has been defensive coordinator, the Raiders are ranked 22nd, 26th, and are currently ranked 26th in total defense. In scoring defense, the Raiders are ranked 21st, 26th, and are currently also 26th. That is just awful. Over his two years as defensive coordinator, the Raiders have never been even average defensively. There is no excuse for him to not have been able to get this defense to even be average. Now, I'm going to go over another fact. This defense has gone the longest in NFL history to not have an interception. Interceptions were the saving grace of this defense last year. The defense gave up tons of yards, but somehow got an interception or turnover to limit the bleeding. That is not the case this year. Teams are able to figure out the defense and pretty much move it at will. Look, at the end of the day, interceptions have a good amount of luck involved. Quarterbacks have to misunderstand the defense or make a bad throw. There are still things the Raiders could have done to create interceptions though. The biggest thing is to create pressure. The Raiders have been dreadful at creating pressure. Keep in mind, this is with Khalil Mack pressuring the quarterback. They rank lacks in sacks again, and it's just pathetic. There are teams with much less pass rushing talent and have more sacks than the Raiders. Khalil Mack is great, but he can't do it alone. That is my biggest problem with Ken Norton Jr. He never made any changes or adjustments to his defense. It seemed they would run the same plays every week and would get picked apart. He relied heavily on his man to be able to beat the other man. He rarely schemed his way to a mismatch. The only thing I ever saw was a safety blitz to free up Khalil Mack to pass rush one on one. Other than that, it was the same defense every play. Mack would get triple teamed or double teamed and there would be no pressure. At least he could have put Mack and Urban on the same side to create some problems, but that never happened. As bad as things were in the front end, they were even worse in the back end. Reggie McKenzie got cornerbacks who were bump at the line, man-to-man -man corners. They're big, physical, and athletic. They specialize in having to cover one man and locking them down. Instead, the scheme was always bump and cover three, similar to Seattle. The problem is, these corners were not the type of players for zone. How many times were there miscommunications in the secondary? There were times when receivers were left alone uncovered, wide open. Multiple occasions had the corners really far back on third and short. John Smith should never be asked to cover a small, fast receiver without safety help. No matter what, that safety help shouldn't be Reggie Nelson. These kind of breakdowns happened over and over again, and there were never any adjustments made to fix the problem. Replacing Norton will be John Pagano. The last time he was a defensive coordinator was with the Chargers, and he's pretty up and down. They were ranked number 29 last year, but they were also ranked number 13 in 2014. The most notable thing was they didn't suffer breakdowns and lack of communication that's plagued the Raiders the last few years. The Chargers were always plagued with injuries and bad luck, but the defense never made dumb boneheaded decisions. Keep in mind though, he will be running Ken Norton Jr's defense and not his own. The most important thing, Pagano hasn't coached a defense with this much talent. On paper, this team is loaded with talent at every position besides the linebackers. The corners are long and have a history of producing. The problem is, they didn't produce under Norton. Maybe now, the defense will have schemes and play some man-to-man. -man. Basically, Pagano needs to mold the defense into doing what it does best. In the end, Norton had to go. I called for his firing a while ago, but the biggest problem wasn't what Tom Brady did last game. The worst of it was when he made Jay Cutler look like Tom Brady the game before. No matter how pathetic and sad the offense was, Norton would provide therapy. So finally, Norton and his terrible defense are gone. He ran the Seattle defense without the personnel and never adjusted. Departure was long overdue. As for Pagano, the only thing I can say is it can't get any worse. Hopefully he can adjust the defense like he has done in the past. This defense is talented and now it's up to Pagano to have them measure up to their potential. Don McDermott has been able to make his defense formidable despite the lack of talent. The Raiders on the other hand have done the exact opposite. After years with Norton, it will be refreshing to see something new on the defense for a change. Maybe this is the spark and message the defense needs to finally play like they're capable of, and more importantly, play with some pride and energy.